Actually, uh, this is my uh, question from my friends, a non-Muslim. Uh, uh, she asked me this question, but I cannot answer it. <laughs> okay, uh, question is, why uh, Allah, uh, our God, not show itself like another region God? Like uh, she's a uh, God, uh, she is a uh, Chinese. Uh, she know the physical of their gods and she know about the power of their gods. So why uh, Allah not show itself? Thank you. Ruda asked the question that one of his non-Muslim friends, she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show himself like in other religions? They can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason, in, the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam is the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he shows himself, you will not be able to live. He's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, then Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa alayhi salam turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain and Musa alayhi salam faints. That is the power of Allah. He's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see him. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say it Allah one and only, Allah samad, Allah the absolute eternal. Lam yulid wa lam yulad, he begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ad, there's nothing like him in this world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. So any other religious people say this is God, the moment you can compare God, to anything in this world, he is not a true God. This is a four line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. Any human being, whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Say he's Allah one and only. Allah the absolute eternal. He begets not noise begotten. And let me ask you a question. Which is the highest reward that you can think you can get, brother? Where's the questioner? Where's the questioner gone? Can you stand, brother? Yes, correct, yes. I'm right. You are, I'm right. Brother, which is the highest reward you can get? Highest reward that a Muslim can get? Jannah. Right? Is there anything higher than Jannah? No. Yes? Someone said yes? Yes? Is there anything higher than Jannah? I think there is hadith that... Just tell the answer. No. Is there anything higher than Jannah? Yes. So tell. What is it? Uh, seeing Allah, uh, the Jannah. Higher than Jannah is Jannah the Firdos. Higher than Jannah the Firdos is Jannah the Firdos al Allah. And the highest is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. We as human beings cannot see the Vaj, the face of Allah in this form. But when we go to Jannah, everyone in Jannah will not see the face of Allah. Only those who are in Jannah the Firdos or Jannah the Firdos al Allah, close to the Prophet, Allah will not show his face always. We would urge, we would desire to see his face. So the highest reward that any Muslim or any human being can get, Jannah is a high reward but not the highest. Jannah is the high but not highest. It is seeing the face of Allah, the Waj of Allah. So tell your non-Muslim friend that if they follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asr, have Iman, have righteous deed, Exhort people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah, inshallah. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she'll be able to see the face of Jannah. Eh, will be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being 
will not see only those who receive the highest award in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos, Allah, and we see the face of Allah, Inshallah. My beloved brothers and sisters, this young student was asking question to Dr. Zakir Naik on behalf of his friend who is a non-Muslim and she asked why Allah doesn't show himself. My beloved brothers and sisters, we see a lot of these type of questions from the non-Muslims, from the atheists and they want to clarify their misconceptions. And Alhamdulillah, Dr. Zakir Naik has beautifully answered this question. But we also need to be alert and we also need to educate ourselves so that we can answer the questions of our non-Muslim brothers and sisters. We have to clarify their misconceptions. They are non-Muslim doesn't mean they will always remain non-Muslim. They are potential Muslims. They are not yet Muslims. But if we can give them proper da'wah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can guide them. So when they ask a question, don't be angry, don't be rude to them. If you don't know the answer, try to take them to different scholars or know the answer and try to clarify their misconceptions. And be kind to them, be generous to them, be nice to them. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent as a mercy to the whole world and he had the best of character and conduct. So as an ummah of our beloved Prophet, we should have the best character and conduct. We should build our character. And then and Muslims, they don't see Islam, they see us. We Muslims are the ambassadors of Islam. We should have the best character and conduct. And we should give da'wah to people with wisdom and with beautiful teachings. And if anyone is guided to Islam through your da'wah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you abundantly. So it's our responsibility to do our da'wah work. No matter in which profession we are, we should reach out to our non-Muslim colleagues, friends, brothers and sisters and give them da'wah and bring them into the folds of Islam. Today you can see all over the world Islam has become one of the fastest growing religion from Europe to America to Asia to Africa in each and every continent people are coming into the folds of Islam in huge number so we need to cater this new Muslims this reverts we need to be nice to them we need to be kind to them we need to enhance their knowledge of Islam we need to teach them how to pray Salah how to recite the Quran and together with that we have to also be an upright Muslim be a practicing Muslim we call others to Islam and we don't follow the Islam it's a double standard we cannot do like that we ourselves has to be practicing Muslims we ourselves has to practice our religion with love then you will see the non-Muslims they are getting interested interested about Islam and they are coming into the force of Islam. May Allah forgive our shortcomings. May Allah give us the understanding of this da deen and may Allah grant us Jannatul Fardaus Al-A'la. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.